What's going on guys? Larry Hendricks here for GadgetGrizzly.com and I'm here with a useful little tip or trick for your uh, iPad, iPad 2, iPhone, or iPod Touch. Alright, now simply all I'm going to show you is how to screen capture, how to take a photo of what is on your screen. Very simple, it's actually built into uh, all these devices. Apple includes it so you don't have to download any apps or, or try to fiddle around with anything. Alright. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it and show you really easy and really quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Safari here. And you see we're actually on the Apple homepage and you see the, the finally the iPhone white for Verizon. Alright, so say I want to take a, go ahead and take a picture of this and send it to my friend of mine. They're really into iPhones, they want them, they're waiting for the new iPhone uh, white and I want to send this, uh, this picture to them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go right up here to the lock and unlock button. We're going to hold it down and when we're holding it down we're going to press the home button and you're going to see the screen flash white you're going to hear the camera uh, camera go off. So here we go, we're going to try it. We're hold the button down, hold the uh, the lock, lock button down, hit the home key, oops, try it again. There you go. Get a little quicker I guess otherwise it's shut down. But either or you hit the uh, lock unlock key, hold it, and hit that. Do it. Let's do it one more time. You're going to hold it down, just this key right here on top. Okay. We're going to hold this down and bam. Simple as that. So, what it's going to do is actually it's going to save that picture into your photos. So, let's try that. Let's jump into photos, camera roll, and here you go. Here's a picture. All right, we have two pictures here we took. All right. Now, I'm going to give a little extra tip on here. This does happen a lot where it'll actually come up looking real funky like this. It'll be turned to the side. Very, very easy to fix. All we're going to do is, I really do suggest you download this because it is useful from time to time. And it's Photoshop Express. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go in there. It's really easy to use. So we're going to go ahead and select a photo. We're going to go into camera roll. We're going to go ahead and grab this photo here. Now on the bottom button right here, we're going to go ahead and click that. We're going to go to rotate. Dismiss. Use two fingers, and all you're going to do is twist it to the direction you want. And when it's in that general vicinity, let it go. Simple as that. You're going to hit OK. And then you can go right up top here. You're going to hit Save. All right. Now it's saved. And what it does is it actually makes a copy of it in your photos. Bring it back to photos. So here's the original one we had. And here's the new one we have now. All flipped around and looking just beautiful, right? So it makes it really easy if you want to take tutorials for any friends or family, uh, if you want to take photos that are on the the website or any website on the, the device, the iPad or iPhone or whatever it is you're using. Really simple, all built into all these devices. It should work. I don't know how far back it works though, so keep that in mind. Um, I don't know if the iPhone 2, 3, 3G, 3GS or what has it. So keep that in mind, but for the iPad, iPad 2, iPhone 4, and the I know for the last two generations of the iPod Touch that does work. So please, if you guys have any older models or different models of Apple products, please uh, try this out. Let me know if it works on any of the older products or not. Alright, so there you go. Nice little uh, extra feature you have with the iPad. Alright, so anyways guys, this is uh, Larry Hendricks for GadgetGrazy.com and I will see you guys later.